Uh, we were just talking last hour about the testing that's been going on in the schools, um, uh, standardized testing. Mm-hmm. And yes, it's been somewhat controversial, but this year doesn't seem to be as, um, uh, it isn't boiling over like it, it has well, in years past. And I think past. you identified the reason yesterday. I kind of feel like it's because the, the teachers have worked out an agreement and, you know, I kind of feel that plays a role. And listen, I'm, I'm, I'm going to call it as I see it. My wife's a teacher. Um, uh, but I, I do think it has something to do with the fact that uh, teachers are not going to be evaluated the way it was originally talked about. Can I fill in the blank? Are you suggesting that maybe some teachers aren't riling up parents? I believe there was a lot of riling up going on. Previously. And, and that doesn't exist this year like it has in the past. Right. Just, hey, it's my take. I got to say what I believe, and my wife will probably hit me for it later. That's what happens. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Yeah. Fred Flintstone sleeping on the stoop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, and so we thought we would kind of get it from a different uh, aspect here, from a different uh, perspective, and that would be Andrew's sister. That's right. Mary. And it's uh, Mary who's standing by on the line right now. Good morning, Mary. Good morning. How are you? Wonderful. Have you been to any great restaurants lately? Well, I went to a few when we went to New York City. Hmm. Where'd you go? Did you, did you when you went to New York City? Did you have it plotted out that you were going to go to these restaurants? No, it just kind of like, it happens. Uh, yeah, it just kind of happened yeah. that way. The word today, by the way, they they use is it happened organically. <laughs> we just ended up at these places, and it was wonderful. It was a wonderful experience. Uh, so, where did you go that uh, that that rings in your mind here? Well, it it was called. I think it was George's Cafe. It was like right down the street from where our hotel was. Mm. And, like, they, it's, like, on, because you know how some restaurants have, like, the people that own it, and then, like, they take pictures with, like, famous people? Yes, yes. All they of the had walls, a couple yeah. of those on there, so I guess it's a pretty famous restaurant. Oh, very Did nice. Did you get to meet George, Mary? No, I, I mean, I might have saw him, but yeah, no, you I didn't know. Get to yeah, George him. isn't a celebrity. He's busy. I was just, a, he flips the eggs. I, He's not the guy. I was at a restaurant uh, in New York um, on Houston uh, a while back, and we're sitting in the restaurant, and right across from me, and Mary, this is going to really blow your mind. It was me and my wife, and right mm-hmm. next to us was Elvis Costello. Really? Yeah. What do you think about that, whoa. Mary? <laughs> yeah. Whoa. You a big fan of Elvis Costello? Yeah. Yeah. Are you sure it just wasn't a guy in glasses? No, it was definitely Elvis Costello. <laughs> it's funny because we couldn't figure it out. We go out, and, they, and he was doing a show in New York, and right on the bus, there he was. Uh, but he looked just like a regular guy. Yeah. He has a song called Allison, which is my wife's. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. yeah, that's my wife's name. You get it? The, uh, we, saw, that's kinda... we saw a mariachi band on the subway. That's cool, right? <laughs> that's I mean, always you nice. never know what you're going to get. Talk about right? organic. Uh, in Utica, of course, we get, uh, we get, uh, what's his name? Uh, the Rainbow. Rainbow that yeah. shows up. He's a mariachi <laughs> yeah. band all on his own. All right. So I wanted to ask you how you had testing yesterday. Do you have it again today? Yeah, we had it Tuesday, yesterday, and today. Okay. How, how'd you, how was Tuesday? How was yesterday? What do you think? Okay. Tuesday was all multiple choice. So there was five, um, like, passages we had to read Mm -hmm. and there were seven questions each so there were 35 multiple choice questions and then were they good multiple choice questions do you think Uh, did they did they trick you uh what what did you think of the multiple choice well i thought they were so a lot of them were uh, kind of hard because a lot of them said things like um how do i word it like um what do you think is the best answer. Oh, like I hate stuff those. like that. So then, so like, there might have been multiple answers, <clears throat> and I <throat> maybe saw that there was two answers, but I had to pick because, right. like, they have makes you yeah, second so, guess yourself. I hate those. Yeah, yeah, there was a lot of those on there. Like, mm-hmm. what do you think? One of them was like, "What do you think? What quote do you think best shows the theme of the story, or something mm-hmm. like that?" So and there they was give a reading. You, like, or quotes. So there was a, a reading yeah. comprehension aspect to that, Mary, yeah. where you'd read a passage and answer questions? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that how, was how, all on Tuesday. How was the turnout? Um, I, There's 23 kids in our class, mm-hmm. and mm, I, can't rem- I can't remember how many our teachers said. I but, can't remember. But, but it, it, was it, uh, would it, did it look pretty full? Like there was a decent number of kids that took it, or was it like empty? Yeah, I think so. Like, okay. 
It, more I mean, than more, years more past? More than previous years. More yeah. than previous years. That's what I kind of thought was going to happen. I think the opt-out numbers, depending, there are going to be some districts that are still really big into it, but I think the opt-out numbers are going to be smaller. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then how was yesterday's testing? So there, yesterday, there was only seven multiple choice questions, so there was only like one passage where you had to read and then mm-hmm. do multiple choice. And then the other part of the test was um, you had to read so there were only three passages, and one you had to do multiple choice questions okay. on. Right. And then the second one, you had to do two, like, short answer questions. Mm-hmm. And, from, and you had to, like, give evidence from the story. And then you read a third passage, and you kind of wrote, like, a mini essay. Oh, okay. Right. So, and this is all very, I mean, this is what I remember as taking as a kid, yeah. and not yeah. much different at all. Yeah. Uh, I do want to say, uh, Mary, write this down. A, B, A, A, C, D, A, E. Uh, these are the answers to today's test, okay? <laughs> so good luck with that. And I think you're going to get 100. Okay, Mary, good for you. Congratulations. You're, a, uh, you're awesome, and we appreciate you giving us a little uh, inside look at what's going on with the testing this week. Oh, you're welcome. You have a great day. Thanks, you too. All right, bye, Mary. Bye. Right, that's Andrew's, uh, Andrew's sister. I have to say, and she has she taken herself the, very well. She has taken the tests every year since they've. Uh, she has. She's yeah, had she does to. really well.